Hi. <laughs> so guys, today we have a drunk get ready with me video. <clears throat> Excuse the noise in the background. You will be hearing some noise in the background and my voice is not the best, but yeah. Anyways, we're doing a drunk get ready with me today. So I don't have a lot of alcohol in this house because I'm not like a major alcohol drinker. I just drink um, for social occasions. I only drink if I'm going out or if I have something to do. But today I have this drink because I had this in my fridge. Um, yeah, so we're just going to use this. I just thought of this idea. I didn't, luckily I didn't have to go out to get like a bottle of vodka or whatever. I had this like chilling in my fridge. I've had this for a while and I've only drank this much. And when I drink this much, it's basically like when I'm going out, I just take a shot or two before I head out. Yeah, so I've had this for a while now. It's been in my fridge, we're gonna use it today. And yeah, so basically today's video entails, sorry my hand is all wet. I didn't ask any questions for this video today because I didn't feel like answering questions. I just wanted to get ready, you know, drunk. <laughs> Not drunk, but tipsy. So, yeah. Titles, drunk, get ready with me. Ignore the noise in the background. I'm so sorry. This is really out of my control. See? You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's really out of my control, but yeah let's just let's let's really jump right into this so i'm not answering questions i'm just going to get ready and talk basically talk a little bit not too much y'all know i'm quiet and i forgot to say that since, since i'm asking answering any of your questions i'm just going to take a shot after every step like foundation after foundation take a shot after concealer take a shot after contour take a shot after lashes take a shot you know i'm not going anywhere i don't have to drive i'm literally just going to film this maybe take one two pictures and have my bath and sleep so i'm safe don't worry for good measure let's just take a shot to start so i don't have a shot glass i have this cute little teacup that i ordered from instagram and i thought it was going to be bigger than this but it came it was a really tiny teacup, so I'm just going to use it as a shot glass. I, I do have a shot glass, I just can't find it. So, yeah, this is good. This is good. We're going to take a shot. I should get some Red Bull to chase, right? I will. I don't really need a chase, I'm strong. <laughs> it's not like any, so I'm good. Okay, shots down. Um, step one, we're going to take this Lancome Genifique. I always get this whenever I um, buy a new perfume at Essenza, and I really love it too. Oh, I'm running out. I'm running out. Basically, I love it too. <laughs> I love it under my makeup. Guys, I'm really running out. I need to figure out where to get the full bottle of this but i don't know what it does i just use it and i realize that it's a good primer so i use it as a primer but am i going to invest in something like a full bottle or something that i don't um i don't really know what it does like the benefits of my skin i think not <laughs> i think not And guys, bear in mind, I'm not a lightweight. Like, once I drink, I I know how to hold my liquor. But um, if I don't eat, yeah, if I don't eat, I'm not very good at holding my liquor. Um, because I'm drinking on an empty stomach, so that's not safe and that's not the best. But yeah, I just knew I wasn't going to eat today. Like, I didn't want to eat anything until dinner time. I get also, sorry, I get also my brows. My brows, I've not done my brows. I'm not going to my brows done for about two weeks now. I think the last time I did my brows was 
a week before I traveled to Abuja. So yeah, they look very bushy. But what I used to take my brows, I used the got to be glue. Yes, I used the got to be glue to take my brows and I just take a bit and I put it all over my brows. I think I need a mirror for this. Like I need a like a, like a mirror that I can see. Okay, so yeah, I need a mirror for this because I need to see what I'm doing. Like a precise mirror. So I just take And I'm just going to clean it up with some water. I just put some water on um, my Q-tip and I clean. You guys, please do not come for me for my pimples. I mean, you can't really come for me for pimples because they're such a natural thing. But it's coming up to that time of the month. Yeah. So, I mean, if you know, you know, right? If you know, you know. If you're a girl... You would know, but my face is looking very rough. Very, very rough. It's insane. I'm just going to take this Revolution Concealer. That's what you don't. I feel like this concealer is a scam. Not scam, like the quality is good. Like I actually enjoy the quality, but I used this concealer for just two weeks before I ran out. Like be so serious right now two weeks that doesn't make sense like i used it for just two weeks and then i ran out of the concealer and i got this concealer from the asos site okay now that the brows are somewhat done i'm going to put this concealer away it's such a mess like i wish i had i wish it wasn't so what liquid quantity like little quantity basically what i'm saying um after concealer we're gonna take a shot so look a mess let's see Okay, so let's get into foundation. What foundation am I going to use today? I'm going to use this MAC foundation. So I've had this MAC foundation for the longest time. I got it like two Christmases ago. I know it sounds crazy. But I never use it because it's just so lightweight for me. But I mean, I'm not going anywhere. And I'm always scared to use it because like I'm going somewhere. I don't want to ruin my makeup i don't want my makeup to not turn out looking very pretty so i'm going to try it today i'm not going anywhere so let's try out this mac mac foundation it's the mac studio waterway spf 30 foundation this is what it looks like you just bring it out squirt some on there and i've always i've always done this trick with every foundation that I use, I always take my iconic illuminator and I just put a little, just a little, like the littlest amount. As you can see, I use this so much, it's old, it's literally almost done. So I use a little and then I mix it in. So I mix it in and it looks like this. After mixing, I'm just going to put this all over my face. let's just hope that this covers my face because i mean i really picked a wrong day to do this because i am pmsing and i have pmsing premenstrual yeah pmsing and i have like a lot of um um i have a lot of pimples because of my um Gets my so I'm going to take this beauty blender and I'm just going to blend. I'm 
yeah this blends nicely but i think the reason why i don't really care for this foundation is because of my dark spots as you guys know i have hyperpigmentation it really affects me i don't care anymore like i'm fine but it actually does affect me and you know i'm get, i'm close to getting my period so i have a lot of pimples showing up on my face but yeah i feel like this foundation will work really nicely for a girl who really doesn't have pimples no hyperpigmentation her skin is literally glass for me i'm more of a full coverage girly on a normal day like if i was going out i would wear like a definite full cover foundation like my juvia's place foundation or my huda beauty foundation or my estee lauder okay, so i'm done blending this out and it actually looks like skin it looks like my skin and i don't love my skin so that's probably why i'm not loving it it's not giving everything that i want but we're just going to keep going because i'm really trying to experiment with like my foundations and things that i own i don't want to just stick to one thing so i'm really trying to experiment and see if like multiple things can work for me foundation done take a shot i feel like these shots are like they actually look like water like do you guys see this it looks like water but it's not it's not water it's not healthy Ooh. this has gone down quite a bit i need to slow down anyways so for, con for concealer i'm going to take my juvia's please concealer in the shade 14 guys these shots are really getting to me because i must confess i did take a shot before i started filming this video so i don't know how this is going to come out i'm getting really tipsy these shots are getting to me and yeah i'm going to go with my black beauty blender and these shots are also getting to me because i haven't eaten anything all day like i'm i'm really starved I barely ate anything last night. I haven't eaten anything today. Like, baby, there's nothing in my stomach. That's why I have to go get these Oreo minis just to see if maybe they would help. But I feel like the damage, the damage is already done. But anyways, I feel like I haven't really spoken and I don't really speak. So while I'm learning all this concealer, let me just talk a bit about what's been going on with me so i've been so mia for like the past week i don't know if a lot of people call it mia but for me excuse me this person that's horny like seriously but for me it's really mia because i feel like i haven't really posted i haven't really done anything i haven't really been filming i really had to I need to see this. Okay. I really had to push myself to film today because I feel like I haven't really. I'm going to go on this Morphe concealer because I feel like I haven't really done anything. I feel like I've been in my own bubble and I've been in my own apartment, which I have. I have been in my own bubble, I have been in my own apartment. I did suffer from like a toothache. I've always had tooth problems, like from when I was little. Like my mom, I remember so vividly, my mom would always take me to the dentist because like I had to get a tooth filling in like both my teeth at the back. I got fillings twice. I liked a lot of, I took a lot of candy and they indulged me because what, I'm the princess of that family. <laughs> They indulge me and yeah, I had to get feelings. I've always had tooth problems. And yeah, so I've been suffering from a toothache this past week. I've not left my house for literally the entire week. I've been home probably just editing or filming or like not filming, editing.
everything from like my my fashion page i do have a fashion page if you don't know which you don't i haven't even announced this at all but yeah i do have a fashion page which is like i guess this is the announcement i have a fashion page and i've been editing for that page and i yeah i haven't really i haven't really i haven't really left home i should say i've been indoors and yeah so anyways i feel like this is me just trying to yeah and like i was saying this is me just trying to get on my zoom start filming start posting content etc yeah that's how i'm filming this drunk era doing it i feel like if you guys want a part two of this video not really a part two but like a drunk era doing me where I, where I actually ask questions and i answer you guys' questions please let me know because i would be very happy to do that i just really didn't want to do that today i just wanted to get ready with me to talk usually when i when i do my makeup and i get ready for like events and stuff i i'm watching like a crime video or i'm listening to music i was actually watching a crime video right now but i paused it just so i could talk but yeah like i'm watching like a crime video i'm listening to music so it's not that serious so this is not really like my ideal getting ready with me phase but yeah if you guys want that like me i will gladly answer questions so concealer done we're gonna take a shot you guys i feel like i should really slow down on this shot and i will um, i'm just going to yeah we're going to reduce the shot quantity yep that's it i'm so sorry if you think i'm cheating but baby these shots are getting to me i haven't eaten anything all day and i barely, barely ate yesterday so keep that in mind next i'm going to go with contour i'm taking this elf 16 hour camo concealer i have this in like this is the matte finish and this is like my contour shade so i have these two shades but yeah we're just going to go in i'm going to go in bit by bit i'm gonna take my other and i'm just going to mm. looking crazy i'm going to blend this out and i'll be right back. that's good for you it's just not good for me it's not gonna work for me i'm boy girl i love this um contour shade so much i love this concealer for contouring so much but it can be so harsh sometimes but i really just love like the glow it gives me and i think i messed up because i didn't clean the glue from my forehead from the when i was gluing my my closure wig my this is actually a frontal wig but yeah anyways i'm done contouring this is what the face looks like i think i'm going to just um blend this out with like a concealer so i'm just going to take this concealer my tight concealer and i'm just going to put a little just a dot 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 and i'm going to blend this out and once i blend this out it's going to like merge with the with the contour shade <laughs> guys this video is so different for me i don't think i've ever gotten ready while drunk or tipsy in my life i just don't think it makes it just gives the same like once you're like you're level-headed your mind is in check your makeup is going to come out bomb but i feel like once you're drunk that's crazy i'm using the beauty pop where I blended out my contour shade and I'm just going to take it on my nose and then I'm going to go with my concealer on the side and on my eye and on my forehead so let's just see how my makeup comes out I feel like this is so crazy I've never done this before I've never got it ready while drunk or tipsy before right now I feel like I'm getting drunk because I feel like this shot glass is not really a shot glass this is not a shot glass so i feel like i'm taking more shots than i should be but that's fine that's fine and i haven't eaten 
you put that in mind that I haven't eaten. And I feel like I'm like, I feel like alcohol is like liquid confidence. So once I'm like drunk, cause I know I will get drunk. <laughs> once I'm like drunk, I will definitely take pictures outside, which is something I don't normally do. I'm very shy to do that. But right now I don't give a fuck. Okay, so concealer and contour done. I feel like that's a shot in itself. I actually want to slow down, but it's the video. We're doing this for the video. So I'm gonna take a little bit, little, little, so little. Okay. <gasps> Guys, you can hear my neighbors. fine just keep them quiet in your head and yeah i've taken that shot and the next step for me is blush so i'm going to go in with this pile i can't pronounce it i'm just going to link everything down below and i'm going to go on this blush it's kind of like a dupe for the charlotte tilbury blush so I'm just going to go and just dab this blush all around. It's not that serious. I enjoy blush, which is so funny because if you know me, you know that blush is something like a part of makeup that I really, really hated. Like I was not a blush girl. I was never a blush girl. I hated blush so much. I think I've always said this like anytime i post like a video on instagram i always see like i always hated blush like blush was not it for me like i truly always hated blush i always hated blush but look at me now baby i love blush little blush powder blush anything and on top my new fave combo for this blush is pink this pink shade and an orange shade on top i love it so much and I'm going to show you guys the orange blush that I use and it really does like it just takes my makeup to like a whole do, 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 new level so good after a liquid blush you take a shot I'm not even going to use a shot glass anymore I'm just going to take a sip just a sip just a sip so after liquid blush what I do is I take my um setting powder i'm using today i'm going to use the fenty beauty pro filter setting powder today and i feel like i'm using this because this was the first one my hand picked so we're going to take a bit and obviously always drunk or not baby always blend out your concealer always blend out your concealer before you set That's it, and I feel like I still carry that with me throughout my 21. Oh my god, I just got done with the baking process, guys. Safe to say that I'm very, very tipsy. Tipsy me organizing my makeup products. Yeah, that's 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 really me. Like tipsy me organizing as I go. That's pretty much me because people really say that I have OCD. I don't see it, but if you really see it. So let's take the next shot. I told you we're reducing our shots over here. Oh. Contour step, we're going to go with my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami Contour Stick. I'm just going to go with this. I feel like I really don't have a lot of things to talk about with you guys because, like, no one asked me questions. I didn't even ask for questions to be sent my way. So that's my bad. So, yeah, I get it now. Like, people ask questions so they can, you know, have a conversation line and, like, 
know where the conversation is headed know where the conversation is leading and i have something to talk about like right now i'm just like crickets i feel like that's really smart so next time i'm going to definitely do a part two of this because i actually enjoy it i feel like it's so different for me and i do enjoy this and i'm definitely going to do like a part two like um ask me a question like q a get ready with me q a drop get ready with me so let me know if you want that i had gone on a tinder date one time and i only had tinder because back in the day back we just finished blush so it's taking a shot i've never played this game again i swear never Yeah, I'm never, I'm not gonna play this game again. It's so bad. But anyways, we're going to contour the nose. I love contouring my nose. It just gives me like a whole new shape. I don't want to say like I've always hated the shape of my nose, which is false. Um, but definitely like the shape of my nose is not like the ideal pretty no shape like my nose is quite wide and quite big um i feel like like it's not cute it's not something that i love well i feel like it's something that complements my face shape so i don't really try to tamper with my nose in terms of like botox or whatever i just do i just contour my nose and that works perfectly for me. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. You guys, I don't know if I can continue this. I can keep this up because seriously, I wish I had questions to answer. I just feel so bored and like, I don't know what I'm doing like i really wish i had questions to answer so if you guys are watching this video these are my thoughts while i'm drunk i have nothing to talk to you guys about i'm so sorry i wish i had something like important to talk about or like questions if i had questions i would answer them i really just don't <laughs> Things, but I'm like, I have to keep them to myself. Yeah. Keep things to myself. I'm always ready to uh, share, overshare. But I have to always remind myself, like, no, keep it to yourself. And when it, they'll see when the, everything's ready and ready to be shown. I also got a lot of questions asking me about, like, body confidence. This blush is so cute. I love it so much. Orange blush is really just, like, the shit. Let's put that back where she belongs. Seriously, orange blush is the shit. Orange blush. If you haven't gotten in the orange blush, like, do you know, wave, get into it. I tried to hold on. I think I hate moving, but it has to be done. I always need to top up my makeup grading. We you shall do too. that soon. I miss my brand microbade and look. All right, let me go ahead, accessorize, and come back. Back. I feel like accessorizing and some jewelry always brings everything back to life. I have these. I've got random jewelry that I've got. Hello. Absolutely love this. You're performing. You were so amazing. Um, is that the word? I don't know. It's just really good. Would recommend. Really nice. And recently, I've been absolutely loving the Road Peptide Lip Treatment. This is in salted caramel. It smells amazing, tastes good. You want to like lick it off. So nice. Guys, I can't... You guys, this makeup came out so horrible. But we're really just going to work with what we have. We're really working with what we got. And I don't love this makeup. So I'm really thinking if I'm going to publish this video or leave it on the back burner. 
but I feel like because I'm drunk, like, what do we expect? What do we, what do we really expect? There's so many stains. Let me put the lip gloss and call it a day. So I'm going to use this mix lip gloss. This lip gloss has a puncture hole in it, so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And, uh... This makeup is so horrible. What? I look, I look tragic. I look horrible. I'm definitely tipsy. Like there's no two ways about it. I'm so tipsy right now. Um, I really just have to end this video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so tipsy. Um, you guys, bye. Bye, bye y'all, bye. Let me know what you think about this makeup down below. It, I know it looks tragic. I know this is not my best work, but... Mm. Okay, let me know what you think down below. Bye y'all, bye. <laughs>